of vector differentiation first introduction so let vector function r equal to f of vector f of t so de depending upon a scalar variable t so now dr upon dt is represented represent or denoted represented by tangent if r represented displacement vectors then dr upon differentiation of vectors with respect to t is called velocity so velocity velocity equal to denoted by v is a vector quantity and d2 r upon dt square is equal to acceleration that is a so third vector if vector r is equal to xi xi i can be unit vectors and y z and z k so d a vector dr is equal to derivative i dx j dy k dz scalar point function if a scalar quantity phi depends for its value on its position is x y z then phi x phi z is called a scalar point function now operator del or nebula it is so vector differential operator i del i into del del x j del del y k del del z is denoted by the symbol of this is called the del or nebula and nebula is equal to del by del x i plus j del by del y plus k del del z next is gradient it is denoted by grad phi or nebula phi this is the nebula phi i cap into del phi upon del x plus j del phi upon del y plus k del phi upon del z where phi is a function of x y z divergence of f divergence of f divergence of vectors let f of f is equal to f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k so divergence of f is denoted by nebula dot f dot means is a dot product so nebula dot f is equal to i del del x j del del y plus del del z k in dot products f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k so first i dot i we get i dot y is 1 so i dot i is 1 del del f1 del f1 upon del x plus uh, j dot j is 1 del f2 upon del y similarly k dot k is 1 and del f3 upon del z and the term is 0 i dot j j dot k the k dot i and the term is 0 here yeah. so if <coughs> nebula dot f equal to zero, the vector field f is called solenoid solenoidal call of vectors next call of a vectors call of vectors is denoted by nebula cross f this is call so nebula is i del del x j del del y plus k del del z f is equal to vector f equal to i of 1 j f 2 k f 3 so nebula cross f is denoted by first i j k that is here i j k after that write down the coefficient of i nebula i j k i i is del by del x del del y del del y del del z and for now after the next third row coefficient of f i1 i j k f1 f2 f3 if nebula cross f equal to 0 then f is irrotational and next important is point method of finding scalar function the when f is irrotational if f is irrotational then f is equal to nebula phi so f dot dr dot products with dr nebula phi dot dr r x i y z z k dr dx i dy dz and then put the value of here left hand side f and dr now we get this f1 x y z d s f2 x y z d y f3 x y z d z and d5 if f is a rotational integral on left hand side is here so 
will be total differential of some function is represented by total difference of some function the total the differential 2 is exact now we get integrating 2 on both sides so we get first integration is here which is exact it means here first f1 xyz dx keeping yz is constant that is the first term in behavior of yz is constant plus second term z is constant f2 is here second term constant constant and term of f2 only consider term term of f2 free from x is only consider term including y and z and plus third terms term term of f3 that is here f3 free from x and y dz plus c equal to 5 so this is required scalar function thank you